Let's talk about trip operon attenuation. This is your trip operon, which we find in the DNA of bacteria E. coli. These five structural genes encode proteins necessary to produce the amino acid tryptophan. And the trip R gene here encodes an inactive repressor that, when active, engages with the operator here to limit transcription of the structural genes. When there's a lack of tryptophan in the cell, the cell needs to make more of it. The repressor is in an inactive form, and the RNA polymerase can bind to the promoter of the operon and transcribe the trip structural genes, leading to the production of tryptophan in the cell. When there is an abundance of tryptophan, the cell doesn't need to make more. In this state, the tryptophan will act as a co-repressor, binding to the repressor and causing it to become active. In this state, the repressor will bind to the operator and prevent RNA polymerase from transcribing the trip structural genes. Here's the kicker. When trip R is mutated and the cell is not making a functional repressor, you'd expect these structural genes to constantly be expressed, but that is not the case. Cells with no trip repressor will still limit transcription of these structural genes when there is an abundance of tryptophan. This indicates that there is another mechanism at work to help limit tryptophan production. That secondary mechanism is called attenuation. Attenuation means reduction of force. So in this case, the trip operon attenuation means limiting the amount of transcription of the trip structural genes. And the whole process of attenuation has to do with this sequence here between the operator and the structural genes, which is called the leader. When RNA polymerase binds to the promoter of the operon, the first thing transcribed is the RNA leader. Structural gene expression is controlled by this RNA leader, which in certain circumstances can cause transcription to be terminated before RNA polymerase reaches the structural genes. Now this leader sequence has some regions of self-complementarity. Highlighted one, two, three, and four here. When RNA has regions of self-complementarity, it will often fold in on itself to form stable structures. There are two stable conformations for this RNA leader sequence to form. Either regions 1 and 2 connect via base pairing and 3 and 4 do the same, or we see an alternate conformation in which regions 2 and 3 bond complementary. These are the two options for stable conformations of the RNA leader. Let's focus over here. This formation contains two hairpin loops, and this one is called a terminator. When this hairpin loop forms between regions three and four of the RNA leader, it causes transcription to stop before the polymerase can reach the structural genes. If the RNA leader forms this structure, the structural genes are not expressed, meaning the cell will not be able to make tryptophan. So the RNA product of transcription in this case is shortened, attenuated RNA with no structural gene sequence. Alternatively, when we see this formation where the region two and three are bound together, we see this single hairpin loop form. This hairpin loop is called an anti-terminator. It will not interfere with the transcription of the structural genes, resulting in a longer RNA sequence produced by RNA polymerase, including the structural gene sequence. So the trip structural genes can be expressed and tryptophan will be produced by the cell when the RNA leader creates this formation. So what causes one RNA leader conformation to form over another? Just like we saw, with the work of the repressor protein, the deciding factor is the level of tryptophan in the cell. When there is less tryptophan, you can see this conformation containing the anti-terminator, which allows the cell to make more tryptophan. 
When there is an abundance of tryptophan in the cell, you can see this formation containing the terminator, which prevents the production of additional tryptophan through trip gene expression. So how does the presence or absence of tryptophan dictate the shape of the RNA leader strand? As a reminder, in prokaryotes, translation can start on RNA that is not completely transcribed yet. So as the RNA polymerase is completing transcription, a ribosome can attach to the RNA already produced and start building protein. This is called coupled transcription translation. The key to this whole attenuation process is the sequence right at the beginning of the leader. Early in the leader sequence, you see an open reading frame that contains 14 codons, two of which are codons that encode tryptophan. The speed at which the ribosome will move through this small section of RNA depends on how much tryptophan is available. If there's an abundance of tryptophan, then the ribosome will be able to move quickly through this section using the abundant tryptophan readily in its translation process. When the ribosome moves quickly, this allows the formation of the terminator hairpin loop, resulting in the attenuated RNA sequence. When there is less tryptophan available, the ribosome stalls at the two tryptophan codons, taking longer to move forward with translation of the RNA as it waits for tryptophan to be incorporated into the polypeptide. Because of this stall, the anti-terminator forms, allowing transcription of the structural genes and expression of the proteins that will help the cell make more tryptophan. So to review, when there's a lack of tryptophan in the cell, the cell needs to make its own. The slower movement of the ribosome as it translates the RNA leader open reading frame allows the leader RNA to fold into the conformation that includes the anti-terminator, which in turn allows the transcription of the full sequence of the trip structural genes, which will then be translated into proteins that will help build more tryptophan. When there's an abundance of tryptophan in the cell and the cell doesn't need to express the structural genes, the ribosome will move quickly through the translation of the leader RNA, and this quick movement leads to the creation of the conformation of leader RNA that includes the terminator hairpin loop, which causes the transcription of the trip operon to end early before the structural genes. The production of this attenuated RNA that does not include the trip structural genes means that the cell will not produce the proteins necessary to make tryptophan. This complex system that includes both the RNA leader and the trip R repressor allows the cell to adjust trip operon mRNA production according to the amount of tryptophan in the cell, meaning the cell won't waste energy making something that already exists in abundance you will see similar attenuation mechanisms in other operons, including histidine, leucine, phenylalanine, and threonine operons. That's trip operon attenuation. Check out my other operon videos to learn more.